and welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Boston Red Sox taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, ready to go here. And today's starting pitcher, Aaron Nola. What's the scouting report on him? Yeah, Boog, when you're a teammate of a guy like this, you love when it's his turn to pitch. He's out there on the mound carrying himself with a ton of confidence. That gives other guys confidence that, hey, the other team's not going to score much. All we've got to do is have good at-bats, put up some runs, and we should be able to get a win. He's got some of the best stuff around the league. So if he's on, he has the ability to control the game, and guys aren't really going to get much to hit. First pitch, 1 o'clock. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And the righty deals. Swing and a ball popped up. Hoskins under it. And there's one down. Check out the Red Sox lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit. And then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. Good late movement on that sinker right there. It's right where you want to get it to get that swing over the top. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And that one is off the wall. Harrison, relay to third. Not in time. He's safe. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over. But that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Rafael Devers up to hit. And that's in there for strike one. Runner on at third, one gone. And a ground ball to first. That's a fair ball down the right field line. And the Red Sox score first. It's one zip. Tag, and he's safe. It's a hustle double. That's two consecutive extra base hits for these guys. Caught it out front and ripped it down the line. And as soon as he saw it get through the infield, man, he started making that big turn towards second for the double. So here's Boston's cleanup hitter, Yoshida. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Runner leads away at second. One and one. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Devers over at second, one down. Stays alive. Tap to first. 
pitcher gets to the bag for the out. That is it. The designated hitter, Justin Turner. Here's Justin Turner. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And he deals. There's the swing and a miss. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. Red Sox with an RBI double. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Bottom of the first, towing the slab in today's game. Nick Pavetta, what should we keep an eye on here? With the height, the release point creates a lot of tilt on his pitches. So coming into the zone, really hard for the hitters to get on plane. Makes Philly. it very difficult for the That's hitters to guess. We go to the bottom of the first, and digging in for Philadelphia, Trey Turner. Swings and misses. It's 0-1. Next offering is outside. One ball, one strike. The one one. Fought off foul. The wind of the pitch. Liner, base hit. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm that not going to leave this in the umpire's the hands. I'm going to be aggressive. Jump. It was in a location where you could get those Harris arms there. extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. And now for the Phillies, Josh Harrison. And that's just foul. <laughs> And a pitch. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Fernandez makes the play. And there's one down. And time now for the Phillies lineup. And with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support. And they'll see what they can do for him. Pook, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have one at second. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. We go on to inning number two. It's the Red Sox one and the Phillies nothing. And welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Christian Arroyo. Leading off for Boston, the second baseman, Christian Arroyo. The right-hander back to work. The bit behind with that on, swing. One it's strike one. Now the 0-1. Just oh. missed. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boob from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers that work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off-speed stuff tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. All Next two. pitch misses. The count now two and two. And 
that one handled on to first. One out in the second. Batting seven. The catcher, number three, Reese McGuire. Here's Reese McGuire. In there, and it's 0-1. Righty delivers. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Next pitch is popped up. Hoskins drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Well, oh, that's a frustrating into the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right the down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Two outs, base is empty. Now batting Tristan Casas. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. The line to kick the pitch. That to right. Castellanos on his way over. Brings it in for the third out. Red Sox go down 1 2 3, but they lead it 1 to nothing. Welcome back. Bottom half of inning number two. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Phillies, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. And here it comes. And ball one. One ball. Go straight. And the 1-0. -oh. And that one fouled off. The pitch. To the right side. Arroyo handles the chance. Gathers and throws to first. Schwarber out of the play. Batting fit. The third baseman. Allen. Whoa. And now it's Alec Bohm. And that one lifted in the air, center field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Batting six. The first baseman. Reece. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Okay. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. And a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So two down. Now it's the right fielder, Nick Castellanos. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Swing and a ball popped up. Devers in position and he makes the catch. 
And that is that. Philly strand one. They trail here. One nothing. Back here at the ballpark, here's Kike Hernandez. Leading off for the Red Sox. Nola, back to work. Kike. And that's through there for a strike. Come on, one strike. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Kicks and deals. And one and two. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And one out now. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Adalberto Mondesi. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Adalberto Mondesi. First time up was a pop out. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. One down, base is empty. And fouled off. The next offering misses. Going to count one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next one misses. Two balls, two strikes. The wind of the pitch. Has some trouble with it. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. The right unit, number 99, Alex Verdugo. Here's Alex Verdugo. That one's in there, 0-1. Well, this is the type of hitter you want up in this situation. Some sluggers coming up behind him. He's so good at moving runners, but also getting on base. See if he can be patient here. The old one. Now a one and a one. One ball, one strike. The one one. Late that one time, ball. and it's strike two. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Down in order go the Red Sox. But they still lead it 1 0. And welcome back, set for the bottom of the third. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Brandon Marsh. The center fielder. The pitch. Brandon Marsh. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. Yeah, just looking lost at the plate this first A-B. So those swings aren't even close. Ground ball up the middle. Whips it to Casas. One up, one down. Batting done. You the gotta be kidding me! Did you see that throw? Not really, Boog. I mean, it happened in the blink of an eye, it seemed. But thankfully, Statcast is here to help us out. I mean, you don't see many throws across the infield that get up into the 90s. So he really reached back for that one, and he had to to get the out. So now here's the DH, Derek Paul, and he swings and misses at the initial offering. And 
there's a foul ball. And down on strikes, two out. Trey Turner at the plate. One for one with a single so far. Swing and a ground ball out to short. On the run, throw to first. Third out. Phillies down in order. They're down 1-0. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Rafael Devers. Rafael Devers. And a pitch. And that's outside. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Right side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with pitches that they see pretty well. That was a good example. He hooked an outside pitch, hit that ball in the air to right, just not with much authority. Yoshida takes low second trip to the plate in this one. The 1-0. And he takes a strike. Left hand hitter waits. Foul ball. The pitch. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. And there's two away. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough. And played right into the hands of the pitcher. Turner. Turner climbs in on that right side. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Yo what? Swing and a miss as he was out front. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Stays alive. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Red Sox go down quietly, but they hold a 1 0 lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Josh Harrison. Ready to go for the Phillies. The second baseman, Josh Harrison. The Foul ball there. Mm -hmm. 
Owen oh, as he waves at that one. High fly ball down the left field line. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. And now it is JT Real Muto. JT. Real that Mucho. one ripped. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Mondesi, relay to second, not in time, he's safe, as a run scores on the play, and that ties the game. Back-to-back -back base hits, nice line drive to full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Stepping in, the long ball threat, Kyle Schwarber. Now batting, left fielder, Kyle in the air out to center. Fernandez pulls it down. Runner tags his second. He makes it to third. Good base running to move up with only one out. Now batting third baseman, Allen. And here is Whoa. Alec Bohm. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Swings through that one. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. Next offering misses, ball one. One away with a runner at third. In the air, right side, Verdugo on the run towards the line. Racing makes the catch. Runner tags for home. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Well, as a former outfielder, I love this play. When you get the opportunity to throw a guy out at the plate, makes the catch as the runner tags, and a laser throw to the plate on the money for the double play. It's time to go hit. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's Christian Arroyo. Leading off the Boston, the second baseman. Christian Ovoyo. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. The pitch. Got him looking. And one gone. Well, he locked him up with the cutter on the outside right there, and I got to think he was looking middle in because he just couldn't pull the trigger. And you know, with two strikes, fastball coming in, you've got to be ready to swing it. That time it cut to the outside part of the plate and he just couldn't pull the trigger. Here's the catcher, Reese McGuire. First pitch and he just misses. And the right-hander deals. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Ball to strike. And there's a ball. Hard hit, left side. Tosses to first, two up, two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets now the defense work behind him the with another ground ball. Good execution. 
Two outs, base is empty. Tristan Casas digs in now. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And a pitch. Strike two. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the frame. Nothing doing for Boston. Score remains deadlocked at one. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Up for the Phillies, the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. And the right hander back to work. On the ground. And that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No, no messing right around right no there. Right he kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but no, he got hey, enough no, no. behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. In there for strike one. Kicks and fires. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. The next offering misses. And that's ball one. And down on strikes he goes, and that's the first out. Brandon Marsh stands in for the Phillies. Grounded out his first time. On the ground right side. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And no throw. He's into first easily. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right hitter. there. Pretty much did the opposite of what you oh. want to do with the pitch on the outside part of the plate like that. Just rolled over, but good hustle down the line and got the infield knock. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And here is Garrett Paul. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Verdugo quickly throws it in. Stop sign goes up at third, and the bases are loaded. Oh, a big swing of the bat right there. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Trey Turner now. Left field. Yoshida gets there. He's under it. Makes the catch. Runner tagging from third. Just ahead of the throw, he scores. It's 2-1. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. So first and second with two outs. And digging in for Philadelphia, Josh Harrison, one for two. Bounce to third, and there's a base hit. March rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score, and they take a two-run lead. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. First and second, two down. And up to the plate is now JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto. In there, and it's 0 1.
and a pitch. And that one fouled off. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. They're going crazy in the dugout, and they throw three on the board. It's 6-1. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in the spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies. Kyle Schwarber. For Philadelphia. No left field. And a foul ball. Kyle. Schwarber. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Just a bit late on that 0-1 breaking ball. 0-2 hole now. He's going to have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's going to have a good at bat. Rip to right, base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Now batting. And so the, the Red Sox baseman. go to the bullpen. Richard Blyer. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. So at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. To the batter now, Alec Bohm. And now the lefty hit pretty well in the air out to center. Hernandez going back, back some more, and it one hops the wall. Picks himself up in RBI. Center fielders in today's game are so talented and so athletic, so when you blast one to deep center and get it to drop in, you know you really put a great swing on it, and that was nicely done for extra bases. Man at second here with two away. Reese Hoskins stands in for the Phillies. Hoskins. That's a laser base hit. Here comes Bohm around third, and now it rolls all the way to the wall. Runner from second crosses the plate. It's 8-1. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. The bat. The right fielder, Nick. Now fly ball to right center. Verdugo, long run into the gap. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Runner from second scores as they add on, and it's an eight-run lead. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Put a really nice balanced swing on it, and when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box, and he'll feel real good about that one. And in scoring position with two away. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Now batting, center fielder, Brandon Marsh. Up the middle. He dives, but he can't make the catch. He doesn't have a play, and they don't get the out. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's the Phillies DH, Derek Paul. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. 
Up the middle. They take the force out, out, and thank goodness the inning is at last over. Five innings complete. It's the Phillies nine and the Red Sox one. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the top of the sixth. Here's the center fielder, Enrique Hernandez. The center fielder, number five. Well, every pitcher wants to run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. And the righty deals. And a swing and a miss there. They've got a potent lineup, and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Fastball almost got him there. Here comes a pitch. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. And it's caught for the out. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third now or fourth batting. pitch of just about every at bat. Adalberto Mondesi. Adalberto Mondesi up to the plate. And that's in there for strike one. wind in the pitch and yeah, that's outside swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone and here it comes swings through that one it's a strikeout so he's gotten deep into this game and at least so far not showing a ton of signs of fatigue Alex Perdugo. Alex Verdugo, the next to hit. One for two in the game. He tripled and scored in the first. Well struck, right field. Gone! He sends it out of here, and they're chipping away. It's 9-2. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Now it's Devers at the plate. Now batting, third baseman, Rafael Devers. First pitch, just misses. And he deals. And another ball. No, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over-aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. On the ground to first. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And that'll do it. The Red Sox pick up a run on the homer. And it's now a 9-2 ball game. And welcome back. Here's Trey Turner. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Blyer, back to work. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Oh and that's down and away. One ball, one strike. Ripped on a line. 
Hernandez settles under it and makes the catch. One away. The batter, number two, second baseman, Josh. And now for the Harrison. Phillies, Josh Harrison. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. And a foul ball. The 0-2. A swing and a miss. Two away. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still now late on it. You catcher. rarely see that. It almost JT. makes you think that he Real was trying to set the job. pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. JT Real Muto stands in for the Phillies. Good contact guy, good defender. Ground ball up the middle. Arroyo picks it up, whips it to first on the run. Safe. And that's his third hit. Definitely a tough play right there. And he had a little now trouble on the transfer. Didn't field. seem to be able to get the Kyle. grip and get rid of it. And that made all the Lover. difference. So two down now. And here is Kyle Schwarber. That one fouled off. The pitch. And a pop-up on the left side of the infield. Devers makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for Philadelphia, but they still lead it 9-2. Welcome back. Here's the left fielder, Yoshida. Leading off for the Red Sox, the left fielder, number seven. The wind of the pitch. Clips the corner. That's strike one. Swing and a miss. But why the kick the pitch? Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other the way. Man. But that the time, a little anxious. Justin Turner. Justin Turner now. Swings through oh that one. 0-1. Oh Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. Bye. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and deals. This one high in the air to left center. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. And into second with one away. That's a double. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost art for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. Now it's the second baseman, Christian Arroyo.
And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Turner leads off second with one gone in the inning. Just a weak fly ball this time. Two down. The throw into second. The catcher, number three, Reese McGuire. Reese McGuire now at the plate. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. In the air, out towards left center. Schwarber makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for the Red Sox. They're down seven. It's 9-2. Bottom of the seventh. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Alec Ball. For the Phillies, the third baseman, Alec Ball. And the pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. The pitch. On the ground, right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Reese Hoskins stands in for the Phillies. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. And it's fouled away. And a pitch. And a foul ball. And that one hammered. That's back there. And that ball is out of here. He circles the bases and they tack on to their lead. It's 10 to 2. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. So the Red Sox bring on a new pitcher, Caleb Ort. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. One for three. The right fielder, number eight. That one drilled left field. Lays out and makes the play. Center fielder, this dive wasn't 16. the result of a bad route, Singy. The only reason he made the play is because his route was so good. No doubt, Boog. StatCast tells the same story. I mean, he got to a spot as quickly as you can possibly get there. And he had to in order to have a chance at that diving play. Just special. And yeah, the batter now, Brandon Marsh. That's a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Well, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks oh, locked in. First pitch fastball in a great spot hitter. to do some damage. Derek. And he squared it up nicely. Oh. And at first, Derek Paul stands in for the Phillies. First pitch doesn't find the zone. March off of first with two away. Lifted in the air, right center field. And that gets down into the gap. March around third. 
He scores, and it's 11 2. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Trey Turner with a chance now. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. No Gets on base, seven. yes, but also some power. Shortstop. And he swings and misses at the initial offer. Rip, but it curls foul. Runner at second, two down. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And off the base of the wall. The run comes in from second, and it's now 12-2. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. So two down, Josh Harrison stands in for the Phillies. Two. Timeout asked for Second and given it at the plate now. Now a pinch hitter coming off for the Phillies. Bryson Stott looking for a two out hit with a runner in scoring position. Right there. Center field. Hernandez makes the catch, and that'll do it. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Phillies 12 and the Red Sox 2. So remaining in the game defensively, Bryson Stott. He entered the game to pinch hit, and now man second base. Number five. We're at the top of the eight. Joe right stepping in for Boston. Tristan Casas. Leading off for Boston. The first baseman. Tristan. Out of the bullpen for the oh. Phillies, Matt Strong. And a healthy size Number lead for him to go to work with. Matt. Strong. The pitch. That's in oh. there. That's strike one. Swing and a miss. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. pitch just off the inside edge left hand batter waits Wings and fouls one off. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. And a pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Stays alive. At the belt and fire. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck, right field. It bangs off the wall. Castellano whips it back in, and they hold him at second. Maybe this is going to be the moment they start the comeback. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up, and right there we see the result. Enrique Hernandez getting ready to hit. And that one fouled off. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on, 
Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. The 0 1. Ball one there. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Next offering is in for a strike. No outs. Runner on second. Got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Typically, that high no, fastball, bad. if it's close to the top throw. of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Mondesi in the box now. No balls and a strike. And a pitch. Way out front for strike two. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Next offering is foul back. Swings and misses. That's his second strikeout. Now batting, the right fielder, Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo, up next for the Red Sox. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. Big swing and a miss. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Next offering is fouled back. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. Casas on its second with two down. And down on strikes. And that will end the inning. And yeah, the Red Sox leave one. It's 12-2. Bottom of the eighth. Here's the Phillies catcher, JT Real Muto. Leading up for the Phillies, the catcher, JT Real Muto. And he deals. Smash to the left side. And there's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Got now the top bad. of the ball a little bit, Don't but not much. Here. That was hit pretty Kyle. hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. So, man aboard. Now the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Nobody out. Runner at first. And that one wrapped foul. The punch out there, one away. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to Up bring that to a healthy. halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, Alex. just couldn't do it. Boom. Alec Bone will hit next. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Good miss with that change up away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here. On the hitter's side, nice job of laying off that pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. 
The first base. Anytime you rip a line 17. drive the other way, you feel Three. really good about what you Off did at the plate. You trusted your hands, your you let the ball please. travel, and you took now, the barrel straight to it. That's great work Number right there. 89. On the mound now, Tanner Howard. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. And digging in for Philadelphia, Reese Hoskins. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. He's a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the ballpark. But obviously, out of the bullpen, you're looking to limit home runs. Yeah, and that's why he's such a high leverage arm. Just doesn't matter for him. He looks at attacking the zone and attacking hitters regardless of the situation. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. 0-2. Right-handed reliever. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Now two away. Oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With now two back. strikes, you're looking to protect. No and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed. No, and you no. know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. And now for the Phillies, Nick Castellanos. On the ground to third. Steps on the bag for the force. That's out number three. Phillies leave a couple, but they're still way out in front. 12-2. Back here at the ballpark. All set to start the ninth in this one. And stepping in for Boston, Rafael Devers. The third baseman, Rafael Devers. Strom back to work. That's a strike. Well, they say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move to the at bat. Ground ball right side. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. The There's bat. nothing cheap about the Number way he seven. got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Then at first, Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. In there for strike one. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground, and they can roll him up for two. The 0-1. Fought off foul. Devers gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next offering is foul back. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just Definitely bunched him hit. up on the inside Definitely. part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Yeah. Did a nice job right there. Turner, batting with one down, takes the strike. You'll want. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Out number two. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch yeah, right. after giving the up the leadoff base. single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Christian Arroyo stands in with two away as he takes a ball. 
Next offering is in for a strike. That one is upstairs. And a 2 1 on the way. Popped up. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Phillies take this one in a blow. After a couple of times through the order, these guys really figure it out with the bats. A huge fifth inning. And that was all they really needed to get this victory today. Really nice job to pick up the W today. And your final 12 2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Time of the ball game, three hours and 40 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.